Yo, what's up guys? This is Base Brawler and in this video I just wanted to go over something insane, okay? Now What's up guys? This Base Brawler is getting kinda old. Uh I, I don't I didn't really mean to talk about this in this video, but I decided I'd mention it. So I was thinking of coming up with a new like intro, because what's up guys is base brawler, like that's you know sort of generic. Like, a lot of people say, what's up, guys, is their intro or whatever. I should probably go with something else. I'm not going to go over it, this whole video, because then it's going to be about that. But I'm going to think about something uh, later on. For now, it's going to be, what's up, guys, this is Base Brawler. But I'm going to try and, you know, switch it up eventually. So, but anyway, let's, let's not talk about that. Let's get into the video. So, as you guys probably know, some of you, um, in one of my streams... My, I think it was my last Dragon Ball Legends stream. I talked about how Future Trunks uh, Legends Road, aka the one I'm using right now. Will you please ready up funny gaming? Uh, I was talking about how Vegito essentially is better in every way, shape, or form. However, I noticed something. I decided to give Future Trunks another chance because I got him to four stars. And he is Zenkai Awakening level 5, which obviously I'm going to try and give him to 7, which is why I'm still doing co-op. So, I was playing as, you know, Future Trunks, obviously. I decided to switch it up. I was like, you know what, let me try Future Trunks. Let me give him a chance. Because I know not everyone has Vegito. And um, I'm very blessed to have Vegito because the job I have allows me to spend the ridiculous amount of money that I spent to get him. But, we're, I'm not going to talk about that in this video. Uh, <laughs> for the free-to-play players, I want to see how they're doing. Like, how they're, uh, what's it called? How they fare against this event. Uh, for future Trunks to get to Zenkai Awakening. Level 7, obviously. And, I gotta say, man. Future Trunks is where it's at. If you guys are worried about not getting Vegito... Don't, just don't, okay? Don't. He he is a monster. Especially the dual rising rush. It is just... I'm going to show you guys in a second if we're able to pull off the dual rising rush, but... Let me see if he's willing to do it. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, man, I couldn't show you guys the dual... I guess I'll have to play again then. But guys, the dual rising rush... I've never, as with Vegito and another Trunks, or a Vegito and another Vegito, I'm talking about the blue one, obviously, I've never been able to pull off a Rising Rush where I did more than 20,000 damage. And that's with one of our future Trunks having only, aka, this is mine, five star, or four stars and Zenkai Awakening five. That's only with that alone. Then again, my Vegito only has two stars, but, I mean, who else has a Vegito that's more than seven stars that isn't a freaking whale, right? Um, and again, I've spent all that money just to get the character. I didn't, I don't really care about stars or anything, I just care about unlocking the base character. But anyway, enough of that. He is actually a freaking monster. Like, I I honestly feel really bad for what I was saying the other day about him. Because his damage, if you keep using the green cards, it just stacks up. It never stops. He is really powerful. I have changed my mind. And I am going to give him another chance. Which is why I'm currently deciding to Zenkai Awaken him. And I'm sure everyone has already done that. In fact, I've done that, but I mean obviously level 7. And yeah, so let me uh, really quick try out a summon. A summon of these. Right here. Because I'm currently at zero, or 5,000. 5,000 souls for him exact when it comes to the Zenkai Awakening. Alright, let me skip that. That actually wasn't a bad one, I got 95, cool. And then let's get the event challenge or mission. 
So I can only get 300 more out of this. But guys, I only really need like 6,000. I only really need 6,000 and then I'm good. For Zenkai Awakening. Because I've done the math. For every 2,000 you need... Or for every 1,000 you need about uh, approximately 300. Or 3,000. I just multiply everything by 3. Or 30, I think. Wait. Yeah, three. Because if you want a hundred, it's probably going to take 300 tickets. Because you get 10 summons every 300. And if you do five times 10, that's 50. But you don't always get um, fives. You have chances to get 30s and 15s. So that's why I say, like... Maybe 7,000? I'd say 7,000 is a good place for me to uh, summon him again. Or attempt to... Not summon him, get the Z souls. The Zenkai Awakening souls. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Why can't I charge my key? His card drawing speed is kind of slow, at first, anyway. It's crazy how, um, Super Saiyan Kid Goku works. Because his thing, um... He gets that ability where he draws cards really fast, and then after you use that up, then they get to being really slow again, if that makes any sense. I'm going to try to pull this off before he does the Rising Rush. If he's even going to do it, because sometimes they don't. There we go. Here we go, guys. Double Rising Rush. I'm going to show you guys how much damage this damn fool does. It's insane. Even if I had two Vegito, like another Vegito on my team, it would be crazy. We didn't pick the same card, though, so it's probably not going to be 20,000, but... I get 16,000 when I pull the same card as the other player with Vegito Blue. So just imagine how, like I said guys, 20,000 damage. This dude is crazy. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did have another video planned for today, but it didn't really go so well. Uh, I'm not going to get into detail about it, but I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that may be. Have a nice day if you're not already having one. And I'm going to attempt a new intro in the next video. So, yeah, have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.